Trainman3985 asks, What's your favorite and least favorite railroad, both past and present? What inspired your username? And do you think I'm a good or a bad channel? Well, my favorite railroad in the past time was obviously the Frisco, though my least favorite is probably the Penn Central for obvious reasons. Modern day railroads, I really do not think I have a favorite or a least favorite. I like them all. What inspired my username? Practically, Frank F. Addison is my full name in real life, though the F stands for Philippe, which is a Spanish Portuguese iteration of Philip. Also, I think you're a pretty good channel. I mean, a lot of your videos are extremely funny, especially that one where you royally peeve Lexi, no offense. So yeah, be sure to go check them out, guys. Berkshire765 asks, What's your favorite Canadian locomotive, your favorite civilian aircraft, your favorite 484, and your favorite past and present diesel? Well, my favorite Canadian locomotive is Canadian Pacific number 2816, the Empress, because I like the unstreamlined profile of this locomotive. My favorite commercial aircraft is arguably the McDonnell Douglas DC-10-30, because it's my favorite of the Trijets, and Trijets are my favorite airliner. My favorite 484 is CNO 614 because it took part in the ACE 3000 project. And my favorite past diesel is the EMD E5 because I like the streamlining profile. And my favorite present diesel are the MPI's MP Express series passenger locomotives, again because of the streamlining. Caden Robinson asks, Hey Frank, have you seen my new YouTube video? It's an animation called Titanic 2 Sinking. Personally, in real life, even though I'm against the idea of a Titanic 2, no offense to anyone, practically, I have seen the real Titanic 2 movie, and pretty much, Caden, you got it spot on. And even though the animation might could use a little bit of work, you're on the road to a good animation thing already, so keep it going. Decepticon Blitzwing asks, Are you number one? And if you have the lamp from Aladdin, what would be your three wishes? Well, for starters... Anyways, my three wishes would be... 1. I wish 1522 and ACL 1504 would get restored. Number 2. I wish the BNSF could have a steam project sometime in the future. And number 3, I'd rather kinda say to myself, so one minute. Okay, that's my three wishes. There we go. UP1995 fan asks, This is NS8098 fan's second channel. If you were ever restored, which heritage unit would you pick? Well, from the four given to me, I would practically pick all of them if I could, because heritage units are practically the only thing that keeps the heritage of a modern railroad alive by keeping the liveries of its mergers in the game. Uh, 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 what? Can you help me? 1065 and 1066 are fighting each other. What do I do? Eh, uh, sibling rivalry, eh? Well, can somebody get the freaking bleach, no offense? But still, if your two siblings are fighting, I suggest either you try to break them up peacefully and explain to each other that even though they might have their differences, they should still be able to get along and we shouldn't fight. But still, I hope your friends quit fighting soon. New England Railfan Productions asks, What games do you play? And one more thing, what's your favorite band and your favorite music? And also, did you hear about SP9010 getting restored? Well... The only game I really do play frequently nowadays is Roblox. I did play Flight Simulator X and Ultimate Trains Collection, but they both got lost and I would rather not explain what happened to them really. And honestly, any band from the 80s and any music from the 80s would do. Some of my favorites are Huey Lewis and the News, Autograph, and other bands like practically like anything from the 80s. I'll just leave it at that. And until you mention it, no, I did not hear about 9010. I never even heard of the thing. 
but practically it's the only one of its kind left in existence, not to mention it's a German-built locomotive. That's pretty exciting in my opinion. 2026 Productions asks, Frank me boy, why do you have a picture of the Hong Kong skyline set as your channel artwork? Practically, that's a bit of an embarrassing story. Practically, when a specific incident went down a few months ago, I decided to change my channel artwork to Hong Kong, just in the worst case scenario so I wouldn't be recognized, but I was practically so lazy that I ended up not changing it back to anything. But, hey, look on the bright side. Now that you remind me of that, I'm gonna change it soon, I promise. Trainwreck asks, Also, do you like 1225 Pure Marquette? Hey, dude, I think we can all agree on something right about now. Everyone loves 1225. I mean, hey, according to my close friend Autumn, 1225 knows the way. <laughs> Joe Trains 1225 asks, Dear Frank, have you been to Strasbourg? Edit. Although, are you a thing if you don't mind me asking? Well, about the second question, if you're referring to me and Autumn being a thing, I'm just gonna say no, because I've said that already about 50 times on this channel alone. Any further detail about it, I'd rather keep to myself, to be honest. But sadly, no, I have not been to Strasbourg at all in my life, though I really, really wish I could go up there, because... Keep in mind, I have wanted to see the world, and from what I heard, Norfolk and Western 611 is in Strasbourg right now. B&M Steam Productions asks, What's your favorite steam engine paint scheme on the Boston and Maine? What's your favorite diesel engine paint scheme on the Boston and Maine? And do you think the idea of having a triple header between 3713, 4116, and 4016 sounds like a good idea? Well, my favorite steam engine paint scheme, I have two of them. There are the Minutemen, and the streamlining that they used on the engines after the war. My favorite diesel engine paint scheme is evidently the Bluebird, and as for the triple header, go for it. This big steam triple heading is something that honestly everyone wished to have between 844, 3985, and 4014, so why not get a head start on it? Autumn Case OC Zephyr, aka Indiana Harbor Belt number 102, dared me earlier. He says, Hey Franklin, I dare you to KISS Audi. What? No, 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 no. When did you think I like her? No offense. Uh, I, 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 I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like her as a close friend and a bestie, but like, like, like? I mean, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, as much as I like him, I don't want to get him in trouble! Although I did put the hashtag please be my senpai thing, but that was just for laughs! Oh, jeez Louise. Ugh. Fine, I'll do it, Zephyr. But only because it's a dare. Love dares. I'm trying my best to not get in trouble with Autumn for the second time in a row. Keep in mind that we're just besties, and I just did that little skit at the end just for fun, and just for laughs, and just for the aw how cute. Okay? We're just besties, let's leave it at that. Alright, good night.